20 years ago, they knew that our, that our uh, landfill would be full about now. Welcome to Kodiak Video Magazine. About once a month, my husband Bill and I gather our recyclables and we make a trip to Threshold. Threshold Services recycle here in Kodiak, but I was curious about the organization and where the recyclables go. I met with Ken Reinke, the Threshold Director for the last four years. Threshold Services was formed in 1984 strictly as a way to help people with disabilities uh, with training and jobs. Everything that helps recycling in Kodiak helps people with disabilities. Tell me a little bit about what you recycle and where it goes once it's collected here. We're up against it a little bit here in Kodiak because we're so far from the nearest recycling buyers. The shipping companies give us a break on shipping, in both Sampson, Tug and Barge, and Horizon Line. That's anything that used to be a tree, paper, cardboard, magazines, cans and tin cans, and uh, certain plastics, number one bottles, number two jugs, and number, uh, well, they're, they're sometimes called number fours, but plastic bags, stretchable plastic film. So we're always looking for better ways to uh, enable our recycling in Kodiak Island. We do uh, paper shredding, a big industrial paper, paper shredding. We charge a little bit to do electronics. Electronics also have to go to a recycler in Seattle. And so we charge 50 cents a pound for those. We're doing about 700 tons a year right now at Threshold, but we could easily double that. As Runke mentioned at the beginning of this video, our landfill is full. The borough is spending over $13 million to expand the capacity for our trash. More recycling is the elegant solution to this problem. What can we do? Recycle cans, plastic, paper, and cardboard. Take them to Threshold. Then like Threshold Facebook page to keep up with all the latest information. Aren't you proud of this? This is great. It dovetails together beautifully.